today I'm going to demonstrate how I start a collage painting, a collage piece, and it's going to be um, a number of steps. So this is going to be one more than one video. And there is a heater in the background, so I hope you can bear with that noise. Okay, so this is an 8x10 canvas, and I have painted on the background and created texture by gluing down or using decoupage to glue down images. I've scratched the paint. Um, I've made these different feelings of texture because I've layered paint and I've used tools to make this textural look. And then I put together images that I cut from magazines that kind of um, bring together like thoughts or where I am at the moment. This piece was done a number of years ago and I haven't made a series in a while so I'm going to embark on that right now um, because I really want to manifest growth in my business and my life and um, just overall for 2020. So it's the very beginning of the year and maybe you want to try to do the same thing. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so here is my blank canvas and this is just pre-stretched. It's not a fancy kind of canvas like a gallery wrap which would have edges that were much thicker, but it serves just fine for this purpose. It already has a base here. So when you stretch your own canvas, the canvas is a tan color. So this has like a preparatory um, coating over top of the canvas when it's pre-stretched. And I'm going to just apply, have fun applying paint first. The paint that I'm using is Basics Liquitex acrylic paint. And you can use all kinds of acrylics. This I would call like a medium grade. It's not professional grade, but I do have a very cheap quality white because I ran out and I just went to my local Dollar General um, because my Michaels is far away. But even this works well. But I do prefer Liquitex. And I'm gonna start with four colors come to her. She went outside and then it exploded into a rapturous moment in time. We said feel the difference between accomplishing vibrational alignment and then. So the appreciation was all that stuff is. But when you focus away, when you stop focusing on whatever has got you feeling like that, your cork will bob right back to the surface. That's your natural state of being. That's why first thing in the morning you're more likely to be there. So all of these things that are in your vortex are making the, what, what you just said is, I want to get on the path for fun, but before I get there, I want to get on a well-defined path that isn't fun for me. And I'll, I'll, I'll clean up that well-defined path that isn't fun for me on my way to fun. And we say, why not just go directly to fun? What, why, why do you have to um, justify your fun through a path that you've already acknowledged you've sort of clogged up a little bit? So, so the fastest way, Mommy. so if you've ever Bumping been on me. So, if, if, so, so if you were wondering what you heard in the background, that was Abraham Hicks and um, really good teachings. If you look them up on YouTube, my daughter was helping me here and pretty much you can't mess up. You're blending colors, you're playing around, you're swirling. I'm using the back of my paintbrush and I'm just creating this overall texture and background for my piece. And I will wind up using some more paint, but I wanna let this layer dry first. And I love using um, shimmery colors. So I'm gonna come in here with some gold after this layer dries. And this will be the end of video one. And um, I'll do part two tomorrow.